Board of Police Commissioners met today for the first time since one of their own was taken away in handcuffs during last Thursday's session. And now we're hearing from that commissioner and the changes that could come in the future to help ensure things don't get out of hand. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash joins us live from outside DPD headquarters to tell us what's next. Anu? Well, Heather and Alan, that meeting is still going on inside DPD headquarters here, but it all started with talk of last week's meeting. When you silence me, you're not only silencing me, you're silencing uh, the district and the people that I, that I work for. That's Commissioner Willie Burton speaking out today about the drama that unfolded at last Thursday's Board of Police Commissioners meeting during discussion over the controversial use of facial recognition. This is, this is a hundred thousand voters. At today's meeting, Chairperson Lisa Carter called Burton's conduct embarrassing and a teachable moment. Democracy needs advocacy and passion but it does not need a sideshow. Given all the places on the agenda where a board member may speak each and every week, no commissioner needs to be disruptive like last Thursday. As a commissioner, we are not subject to a two-minute rule. Uh, I think uh, each elected official, uh, when they are recognized by the chair, should have the opportunity to say um, what it is that they, are, they, they want to say at, at, you know, at the mic pertaining um, to uh, um, the BOPC. In the middle of today's meeting, Burton got up and left, saying he didn't feel well. As for future meetings, Chairperson Lisa Carter also said today that she'll recommend the whole board gets more training on parliamentary procedures. And if things get heated again, I will ask for recesses to cool down emotions. I will insist that we treat each other professionally. I hope that we never have to experience again the disruption that circumvents our purpose and puts us in the position where we are not representing the, rep the interest of the community. Now, Carter also went on to say that she's going to look into how the board can possibly employ a sergeant at arms so that if things ever get heated again, they won't have to rely on Detroit police to resolve their differences. Live in Detroit, a new Prakash, 7 Action News. Sounds like a good idea. All right, Anu, thank you. We'll